Hello everyone and welcome to day 64 of our series. Today I wanted to go back to different tools that teachers can use with their remote classes. And one tool which is very popular but we have not yet spoken about is Padlet. So Padlet is a very versatile and flexible tool and when people ask me exactly what do you use it for i normally tell them imagine this is like creating your own pinterest boards but it is closed with your students so basically it is a wonderful way how you can get all the students to collaborate together and build a board full of information it is for free, but the free version has a limited number of padlets of these notice boards. And over here, as you can see, um, the main page really gives you some ideas of what to do it. But let's go inside. So I have already logged in my account, and as you can see, I have two different padlets. One is related to travel and the other one is related to holidays. So I would use this, for example, with students if I am teaching them um, vocabulary, for example, and I want them rather than to write complex essays, but to write really simple sentences um, and put in images or other links. But let's have a look at the gallery. They give a gallery for inspiration. So these are some public padlets. There's about 97 of them to give you some ideas. And one of them was related to planets of our solar system. This is, in fact, a Padlet which uses the timeline shape. So rather than have random sticky notes sort of all across the place, it's actually a linear Padlet. So, in fact, over here, you can see we can scroll it horizontally. But I'll show you the Padlet which I made myself just now. So this would be, for example, for travel locations. So I would invite students to join. As you can see from the top, I can give a very simple URL and each and every one of them can come in, press the plus button, put in a location, for example, London, write something what they loved about London, great metropolis with vibrant atmosphere. And then they can either search on their system already. And in fact, as you can see, it automatically searched for us some free images from Unsplash. And we can, for example, take that one. And as you can see, you can also comment on other people's um, pins, sort of. Um, but let's look at the settings, because as a teacher, you have a variety of options. So first and foremost, like I said, this is where you can create address, something simple for them to remember, because automatically the address that is generated is a little bit tough to remember. Then you can put in the wallpaper. The wallpaper is the background that you see. So over here, if I want a nice picture, let's take this one, for example, over there. Um, and also you should um, put in the attribution to allow the students to have their name on top of each post allow for comments and you can even either remove completely the uh, reactions or else 
give it a star, for example, from one to five. If you are worried of some issues, you can also require approval before a pin is published. And as always, filter the profanity. So let me then show you how to start this Padlet. So if I go back to my board and I very simply click make a Padlet, I get options of the type of Padlets that we can have. So the war is the more common one, but I love Pinterest. But like I told you, there are several other options and the timeline is in fact this one down here placing along a horizontal line. It's also interesting the stream because it's like an ongoing blog where students will actually be posting or even the map. So giving them a map and letting them add points to it themselves. So let's select this one, for example, and automatically it will build a first version of the map. As always, it knows where we are. So of course it starts with Malta and you can start editing over here. So for example, favorite towns and villages or else where I live, you know, it's up to you really what you create. Uh, and as I said, you have a lot of different options from which to choose and then start posting. And this time when we do the plus, you can search a place by name. So for example, Valletta, and immediately it puts in a pin on Valletta and then they can put in a comment about it. So as you see, it's really simple and intuitive. You can use this with a variety of languages. It is completely language agnostic. Um, and I think it's a lot of fun for the students to build a little project together. That's it today. Um, I hope you're all nice and safe. As always, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and send us emails on info at trainingmalta.com. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow.